in this video i'll show you how i crushed the five percenter summer challenge in nine days i'll break down my trades and thinking behind the trains stick around to the end and i'll show you how you can crush the challenge too let's get it started let's start off by looking at the dashboard i saved a screenshot of the dashboard because as soon as you pass the challenge and move on to the next round they update the dashboard and you can't see the results of the first phase of the challenge so looking at the screenshot you can see that uh, i passed with a profit of 2514 dollars and it took me around nine days to complete it uh, with the equity curve it looks pretty smooth there were some initial hiccups but i stuck to my plan and it worked out in the end as you can see here i needed only 400 pips but i got 1431 pips which is almost three and a half times the required amount and i didn't have any violations and it took me around 41 trades to complete the challenge i'll just look at the history over here um the profit factor was 5.95 with a sharp ratio of 0.47 i had a maximum drawdown of 1.19 winning around 73 percent of the trades the largest profit was 486 dollars and the largest loss was 153 dollars let's look at the trades and i'll break it down for you guys um, before I delve into the chart, I want to share with you my approach to the markets, especially with the swing trading strategy. As you can see, uh, I usually start off with a theme like that's affecting the market. Uh, during this week, the main theme was a rebound of USD. I called this theme during my market analysis last week. I'll put a link up to the video so you can see. And I called out the, these two exact trades, which I took during the challenge as well the theme was that usd was getting crushed since last week of march as you can see here it's been under relentless pressure since end of march coming to the end of may i was seeing a consolidation pattern here so market was not able to make any new lows and you can see it's also creating a double bottom and especially going into fomc weekend usually the market needs some kind of catalyst for it to reverse and FOMC provided just that. Of course, I didn't know FOMC was going to give us the catalyst. It will move the market one way or the other. So then I looked into the technicals and what I saw was USD was bottoming out against all the major currencies. And that was the main reason why I chose to take the trades, basically going long on USD versus CAD, Aussie, Euro and Swiss franc. So I'll show you the exact trades I took. So with USD CAD, this is where I had the first position once it broke out of this range here. And then I took the trade over here with a very tight stop loss. And then once the market broke this zone as well, I scaled in and I moved the stop on the first position to break even. So basically with five percenters, as you know, you can have a maximum of 1% risk per pair so that's why after i moved the stop to break even i took on additional positions so i didn't violate their risk parameters and after i scaled in uh, this was the fomc candle right here after the fomc i scaled in again because by this time both my positions were in profit and on the final scale in i did get a decent amount so between these three trades uh this netted me almost 50 percent of the profit because i almost got around six percent from these three trades similar kind of story with usd c swiss franc it broke off from this range so i took the first trade once it broke this consolidation zone i took the second trade moving the stop loss to break even on the first trade and then after the fomc i scaled in again because by that time both my first two positions were in good profit took the profit near here which is at 91.40 again these three trades netted me another three percent so basically between these two trades i scored eight percent and with all the other trades i scored the other two percent required to pass the challenge uh, another trade i want to show you is with gbp jpy over here once it tapped into this previous support zone and created this bearish candle i entered short and once the market started pulling down i entered i scaled in again i had two additional position which i closed within the hour and then the first position i exited over here show you one losing trade i had with 
AUD USD. The idea was since the market bottomed out from here and was pushing up, I was expecting the market to keep the momentum going higher. But unfortunately, this trade didn't work out. I didn't wait for the trade to come back all the way and hit my stop loss. As soon as I understood the trade's not gonna work, I cut my position over here at 77.42, managing my risk. So this is what we all need to do. We need to manage our risk. And this is exactly what I did with the Aussie trade. And I didn't let my losses get too big. I cut it as soon as I saw that it's not working out. Um, that's pretty much it for how I traded the challenge. Give you three tips that will help you crush the 5 percenters challenge. So tip number one, need to look for a market theme. Like I said in the video, it's best to look for a market theme before committing to the market. The theme of the market could be range or in a trending mode or on a consolidation mode. When it's trending, always look to buy the dips. When it's ranging, buy at the support, sell at the resistance. And what I look for is overstretched market, as in market which has been too aggressively bought or too aggressively sold. And I wait for a consolidation and then when the when there is a catalyst that will help change the trend, I will take the trade. When there is a catalyst that will move the market into a new trend, I'm always there at the start of the trend. And this is what I mean by market theme. And it has helped me pass this challenge. Tip number two, have a solid plan. You cannot try these challenges without having a solid plan. That is, you have to know exactly where you enter, where you exit and when to cut your losses short. Like I showed in the chart analysis, you have to know when you're wrong and cut the position as fast as possible. You can't always wait for your position to go all the way to the stop loss. If you know when you're wrong, just cut the trade. And that's what I mean. You have to have a solid plan. And also you have to know when to hold the trade for longer. Tip number three, be aggressive on A plus setup. This is the holy grail on passing all these challenges. You don't get an A plus setup every day. And when you do, you have to make sure that you exploit it to the full extent. With one of these A plus setup, you can pass the whole challenge. So don't be shy when the setup appears, just make sure you hit it hard. Hit it with a big volume and make it count. And I'm curious to know like if you guys have any tips on your own, please write it in the comments below. I would love to check it out. That's it for me guys. Thanks for watching till the end. If you think the video has given you some value, please consider liking and subscribing. This will help out my channel immensely. Until next time, take care. Let roll up to the party. Roll up, roll up to the party. Roll up to the party.